You are watching a Titan Ed video review. These reviews are for 13 plus collectors. If you are not a collector, please click away. Oh, you know I've been waiting for this one. Let's rock. It's time for a Titan. Shake that. That video review. So yes, we have Transformers Earthrise, uh, Netflix exclusive to Walmart, Soundwave. Oh boy. But yes, uh, it is sold as a three-pack, uh, like a lot of the Voyager, Walmart, Netflix exclusives are sold like. In this case, Soundwave comes with his two minions, Laserbeak, which you can see already in his cassette, and... Ravage and no, he has not got the Sound Blaster molded tape deck, so we can't hold two cassettes. Yeah, what you gonna do? So, as you can see, it, it's just this device mode. There's nothing super special about it. You know, it's just like Generation One and a few third-party figures I got, which I will be showcasing in a minute. But yeah, it's not terrible. Uh, unfortunately, I did. I think I got one with a paint defect on the front. Let's see how well this is. I've got a new light rig, so I think I got one with a slight paint defect, but eh, doesn't bug me that much. And normally he sits flat, but for whatever reason today he doesn't. The way they designed this, for whatever reason, he just will not sit flat. But I digress. And as I just stated, yes, I've got a new light rig, and I'm still working on how to get everything set up properly for it. So, yeah. But yes, uh, he does have the opening door. Door Now, I should stress, unlike the Siege sound wave, this hinge is, at least on mine, uh, kind of a wild card. So, my recommendation is to put your thumb in front of the door and catch it so it doesn't fly open. And the cassette... Here we go. Just comes right out like that. Very simple. Now with that said, let's take a quick look at the two cassettes you get. Laser Beacon Ravage. About the same as what you got originally uh, from Siege. No major changes other than paint and heads. Uh, let's get Ravage out of the way. I'm going to transform this off camera because it is very annoying. So give me just a second. However, give me just a second, I forgot to compare these in their cassette modes. So, the Earthrise pack version is meant to look a little bit more Generation 1. So, other than that, pretty much no changes, at least in cassette mode. Here we go, zoomed all the way in I could. Uh, <laughs> they're uh, robot modes. Eh. Not bad. Uh, this... This version does have a different head and different painted eyes. I, yeah, his is silver, and he's got sort of a snarl going on. So, yeah. Hey, he's perfectly fine. I know some people rag on this figure because he's so poorly designed, but <laughs> as someone who owns a Legend Scale Ravage, trust me, they did their best. <sighs> And with that said, and here we have Laserbeak, uh, the Earthrise version here, Siege version there. Pretty much the same other than paint job, at least in cassette form. You will see a bit of a difference in robot mode, and give me just a second. And they're robot modes, and as seen, not that much difference between the Siege figures. Other than the Earthrise version here having... Us, obviously, more Earth Mode-like head. Better than that, it's definitely the best cassette out of all of the cassettes uh, so far produced for Siege. Still awesome. Glad I got it. Moving on to Soundwave's cassette comparisons. So, comparing device modes of the current Earthrise Soundwave to Generation 1... 
slightly bigger, shockingly enough. Um, I will, however, say <laughs> G1 still does it a little bit better. Honestly, think they should have taken a cue from G1 and made his knees be able to bend forward as well as back. I think it would have been able to hide some uh, some side kibble a little better. Um, however, it does seem Hasbro must be keeping a bigger eye on the third-party market because uh, some of his designs from the uh, Mech Planets Hot Soldiers soundboard seem to be. Uh, kind of wholesale lifted from them. Yeah. Very interesting. And it would seem that they also got some design cues from DX9's Sonic Wizard. So, very interesting. And, just because I has them, and, uh... Siege has confirmed this to be a separate character. Sound Blaster, but he does have the same alt mode as the Siege Soundwave. Although I'm one of the crazy people who actually liked the Siege Soundwave alt mode, so... Yeah. Bit of a difference on how they transform, and it's all mostly due thanks to uh, how the arms will transform into robot mode. Just one change on the hinge completely changes this, uh, the alternate mode. So I'm kind of impressed. But with that said, device mode is not bad. I will however say, I think they could have done just a little bit better. Like I said, this, this side kibble would have been easily solved, and it would have solved the gap issue. If you look, mm, might not be able to. If you look carefully, if I had a wider object put behind him. Let's see, eh, not gonna work. He's basically got a two little gaps right here, and I feel like if they had just made the knees so they could switch to go forwards and backwards on the hinge these parts could have easily been used to fill in that gap like the Generation 1 figure does. I don't really understand why they didn't do it that way, but eh, I'm not a toy designer. So give me just a second and we'll get into robot mode. And here we have him in his robot mode, and oh my, is this a good robot mode. I thought the Siege version was going to be the best, but man, this Earth Mode one just knocks it out of the park. Uh, there are a few issues, nothing too terrible. With as much as they changed on the from the Siege mold, I do, however, kind of wish that the, uh, the forearms had been changed, because they're still just the Siege forearms. I, I kind of wish those were majorly changed because the, all the little greeblies on that from the Siege design are still present. And I'm going to give me a second. <sighs> oh. Sorry, folks. Trying to adjust the lights. Getting used to my new light setup. So <laughs> still working on a few things. Sorry about that. But yeah, the robot mode is really good. Just as posable as Siege, so there's no big changes other than, yeah, that much more cleaned up back. And, uh, huh. I'll leave the innuendo jokes to other reviewers. I'm not as good as it is some others. But, yeah, that's, it's really nice. I like how much they've changed. Uh, the paint job's good. Uh, the red visor is perfect. Thank you, Hasbro. Oy vey. Can't believe it took us this long to get a new red visored sound wave. <sighs> but with I said, like I said, this is a really awesome figure. Highly recommend him. Now, as to comparisons, let us start out with with the uh, 
mold on which the, the original mold on which this was ba built from, Siege Soundwave, and shockingly enough, Siege Soundwave is just slightly taller than Earth Mode Sounder, just by like, like a millimeter or so, just, just this faintest of hairs, he's taller, so that's interesting. But you can see all the changes they've made. Very nice. Here it is compared to G1. And my G1 figure is being a pain in the butt, but yeah. G1. Very nice. Here it is to Mech Planet's Hot Soldiers soundboard how he compares. And Sonic Wizard. So yes. I highly recommend the Earth Mode Netflix exclusive, Walmart exclusive Soundwave. Uh, I've only just now figured out why he's a Walmart exclusive. It's because a core class version in Legend Scale for Soundwave is going to be released during Kingdom, which is coming up. So I'm guessing Hasbro didn't want to have the aisle or all the pegs clogged with core class sound waves that no one wanted because they had the nice Voyager one available at every store. At least that's my running theory. But anyway, like I said, this is an awesome figure. I highly recommend him if you can track him down. Go ahead and pick him up. He's definitely worth it. And until next time, people, this is Titan Zed saying I'll see ya when I see ya.